I do remember once walking into a shop on Calvistrans as, as I go in through those um, gate thingies, you know, the alarm went off. And as I was going in, somebody was coming out. So this, dee -dee -dee, this beep goes off and the security people and whatever, they all gather around me. And um, after a bit of back and forth through the gate, they realize it, I'm not the person. Uh, so, yeah, that was that. However, what I remember, uh, a couple of things, is feeling incredibly uncomfortable because everybody stops what they're doing and they start looking because if somebody's caught shoplifting, it seems to be the greatest entertainment you can imagine at that moment. So everybody stops and is looking and I'm feeling really annoyed about this whole thing. And I suppose my pride kind of encouraged me to say something along the lines of, yeah, well, common sense would dictate that you grab the person going out of the shop since I'm already coming in there. And, well, the apologies and apologies accepted and da 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 we went on. But that, that memory of having everybody stare at me with that look of, ooh, that naughty, naughty man, uh, it brought up um, <laughs> a flashback f from when a similar thing happened as a sort of 11 or 12-year-old. However, the difference being is that I was completely guilty. And what happened back then, there was, you know, you had these, just like you always have trends, there are things that you notice kids do, they do this or they do that. And one of the things that we got into was having many, many pens in your bl blazer pockets. I have no idea why. I, you need one pen to write, maybe two. But the idea was to have many, and it wouldn't be just these big you needed a fountain pen, you needed a park, you needed the Schaefer or whatever, I, I've forgotten what they're all called. A paper mate also had a pen. And um, sometimes the only way to get hold of those pens was, would be to borrow them without asking from a shop, which is a very bad thing to do. And I'm t remember I was young then, now I'm not young, so I don't do that now, but then you're a kid. And we'd do this and it, I, we didn't even think, you know, you're at that age where your brain, you just do stuff, you know, why are you thinking? What's the point of thinking? Just do it. Just do, do, do. So we're there doing. And uh, <laughs> I'm in the shop and we'd often go with groups because it wasn't so much the object, it was the act. And you needed people who had witnessed your skills in, in um, acquiring the pen in question. So you couldn't just come to school with a whole bunch of pens and say, look, I've got all these pens. Nobody would care, or maybe one group would care, but our group wouldn't care because they want to know, how did you get those pens? Did you, did you have uh, some sneaky moves that allowed you to steal the pen from the shop? Which again, I have to say, is not a good thing to do. So of course, uh, I'm there with my mates in the shop and I get a pen that's just whatever, and I probably slipped it here or there. And as I'm getting ready to go out, you get this hand on the shoulder, doom. And you're, you don't even need to think, you just know, uh-oh, I am nabbed. So of course I was nabbed. And this security guy, who when I look back at it, I think he was actually quite kind, he said, did you forget to pay for something? <laughs> so he doesn't even mention the pen. And, Thankfully, thankfully, I had enough money to buy the pen. It wasn't I mean, a couple of pounds. It wasn't an expensive pen. And I had enough money to pay for the pen. So I paid for the pen. But in that period between him grabbing my shoulder and me having to sort of maneuver my way to the uh, uh, checkout counter and pay for the pen, it seemed as if every single pair of eyes in the shop had focused on me and they were all watching me and that feeling of you know it's not that they were watching me because I was cool or watching me because I was singing or watching me because I was a great athlete they were watching me because I was a bad person and that look just this sort of surround uh, vision look of uh, disapproval from everybody it, oh man that, that was horrible and of course so I pay for the pen and whatever and in school the story is told of how I was nabbed and nobody said oh it was a good idea that you paid for the pen the idea was that the fact that you were nabbed that you're a sucker you're silly how could you get nabbed and uh, yeah goodness at a point you just can't be bothered with uh, such things 
Um, this is a behavior that you should never, ever try in Nigeria, because I had seen, um, even though that's a bit of a dark story, so I may tell, no, I'll, I'll tell that another time, but I had seen somebody actually given a necklace, and the necklace was a tire, and kerosene was poured on them, and they burned alive because they had stolen something at a market, so that there's, it's not a good thing to do. Either way, don't steal and don't kill people. But this um, incident that happened on the Calvestrat, going into the shop, I go into the shop, I get stopped for doing nothing just because an alarm goes off and it's me they pick, not the other person. And having everybody stare at me did bring up this old, old memory of back in the day when I would uh, pilfer pens from shops in order to have a blazer pocket filled with a variety of writing instruments. That's how it goes sometimes, you know. 